All right, everyone, we start off today with Biden's legendary new gaffes. In fact, both main videos today are about Biden doing something goddamn stupid. Again, it's turning into the Biden channel because it keeps happening with such great regularity. Now, uh, not only can we not go a day without a gaffe, sometimes it's multiple problems every day. We'll also be talking about a major foreign policy blunder from Biden. Uh, he's claiming that the U.S. economy, uh, yesterday he was doddering around eating ice cream, which is characteristic for him. He claims the U.S. economy is strong as hell. By the way, the legacy media making another uh, big blunder here as well. Some members of the legacy media chose, instead of reporting on his economic comments while he was eating ice cream, to report on the ice cream itself. Apparently, yes, the breaking news, everyone, front page. Joe Biden, the steward of the United States, elected to get double-dip chocolate uh, ice cream in a waffle cone. This is heavy-hitting reporting. That's exactly what the U.S. public needs to know. Not the part where Biden claims the economy is strong as hell. Not the part where he claims he doesn't care about the value of the U.S. dollar explicitly. So <laughs> I'm not making this up. Fucking look at it for yourself. Link in the description, archived, of course. So he doesn't care about that. He claims that the inflation rate is worldwide and the U.S. is actually doing pretty well. It's other nations' fault. They're not producing enough. There's not enough growth there, so it's causing inflation in the United States. At this point, he's just hoping that people are economically illiterate. And if you're still a Biden fan, that's probably the case. I don't know how well that's going to work for the midterm elections. I, I'm looking at the latest polling slews. I'm looking at the congressional generic ballot. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a goddamn midterm night. By the way, next week I should be doing a test stream with Sleazy P. Martini, the upcoming co-host of the midterm live stream at large. Uh, and we're going to probably riff on politics, make some basic... Uh, preliminary predictions, etc., etc. Um, we, we've got to do an unpublished test first to make sure everything in StreamYard works properly because I need to make sure that we can get third parties aboard as well. Uh, we'll see how it works. So there, probably on Wednesday there will be a, a test stream for that, which means that day I will not do my general live stream, uh, almost certainly, because I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to fucking make two streams a day plus the videos, plus do my editing, plus probably cooking, plus cleaning, plus taking care of a child. It's just a little bit much for me. I, I took a break off yesterday from streaming just to sit there for a couple hours and play Fallout 4, in all honesty. Here's the problem. Let's look at what Biden's saying. Well, first, let's pivot to the legacy media coverage. The fact that, there, that some of these individuals, members of the White House press corps, are reporting on goddamn ice cream flavors when you just saw the U.S. president claim he does not care about the value of the U.S. dollar and is clearly showing complete economic incompetence, that's beyond the pale. It'll knock that out of the way first. That's goddamn crazy. Secondly, to blame the inflation rate on other countries not producing enough is asinine. Um, the U.S. president does have an impact on inflation. By the way, the current inflation rate that you see is not 100% Joe Biden's fault. It's just mainly his fault. Part of it's, of course, his encouragement of onerous lockdownerism, that hence the supply problem that he himself is alluding to in a roundabout way. Um, the, the attacks on the U.S. energy industry and multiple uh, hundreds of billions of dollar uh, packages, the, the Inflation Production Act, the so-called infrastructure uh, a thing, uh, th these, these cause inflation. Part of it, though, begins with Donald Trump. By the way, I've been queried about this in debates and fully admitted, by the way, anomaly, that is the case, that yes, Donald Trump's bailouts did cause inflation. That was the original bump that you saw long ago. That's already faded and gone by the wayside. In fact, it followed the exact same time trajectory that uh, some people that don't like me very much themselves expressed was the likely path of that inflation. Since then, you've seen Bidenflation. Everything subsequent to that hiccup, which is really what it was, it was beginning to tick downwards, uh, and then Biden's uh, early activities began to kick into the U.S. economy, overheating it. Now you've got a weird situation where Joe Biden's attempting to pump the economy full of money while the Fed is attempting to tamp down. He's literally at the war with the Federal Reserve at this point. And while I don't like the Federal Reserve, of course, being a Ron Paul libertarian, uh, how could I? Um, it is not necessarily a good idea to 
overheat the economy while the Fed is attempting to actively uh, reduce uh, the inflation by increasing the interest rates. You're going to end up with stagflation at some point. I keep warning of this and I will be proven right. They'll say hindsight is 2020, and they'll say, whoops, the Fed uh, oopsied the economy. The number of people that Biden has blamed for his own economic problems now is getting longer and longer and longer. You'll remember, gas prices supposedly are Russia's fault. When they started coming down, of course, that was all Biden's doing. Now they're going back up again, so they'll probably pivot back to complaining about the war in Ukraine. Inflation is now the result of other countries. And, and the rising unemployment that will hit you know, fairly soon, that'll be the Fed's fault. They laid the groundwork for that back in spring. The fact is that Biden doesn't take responsibility for anything, unless things are moving in a positive direction. Then all of a sudden, he's the economic whiz kid. He, he's got total control over everything that happens. Like in diplomacy, Afghanistan wasn't his fault. It's totally out of his hands. Well, Trump signed a bad deal. Well, you know, the Afghan government just wasn't willing to uh, fight hard enough. It's not my problem. If it had been a diplomatic win, I guarantee that he'd be on TV every single fucking day talking about how great a job he did and patting himself on the back. Other people probably have to pat him on the back at this point. Can he even reach back far enough at this point? I don't know. By the way, they should keep him away from the ice cream. The dude's 80 years old. Uh, don't you think at some point maybe he needs a healthier diet? I seem to recall Donald Trump getting crucified for his love of Coca-Cola and Big Macs, which is proper uh, <laughs> to be true. Uh, you should not eat Big Macs. They're uh, arguably semi-edible. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Some of the ingredients are probably capable of being digested by the human body. Some not so much, uh, including the so-called meat. How many corn binders are in there? How much corn syrup is cooked into that meat before they serve it to you? Hot and greasy with tubs of lard. This is nuts. Um, th this is unmitigated insanity for the steward of the United States to claim that the economy is strong as hell, by the way, is a huge optics fail. It's the number one issue on people's minds. The economy is not the number one issue on people's minds unless it's going very badly or very well. If it's going very well, of course, it's a major issue. Well, this party's giving me back all sorts of money and I'm making more and I'm paying less and costs are down, the US dollar is dominant, they're going to be more likely to vote for the incumbent party, even if the incumbent party is not fully responsible for what that economic situation is. Sometimes it's happenstance. Sometimes the out party did something before they were the out party and, you know, things went from there. And if things are going really badly, then the incumbent party tends to be punished because the economy is bad. Well, they're wrecking the economy. The inflation is high. Unemployment's creeping upwards. We have big trade problems which is all true at this point. Uh, so they're going to punish the Democrats for that. When you come out, therefore, and say, oh, no, 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 the, the cost that you see at the store, at the gas pump, the fact that you're working part-time instead of full-time, the fact that the small businesses all closed down because of lockdownerism that me, Joe Biden, decided to promulgate for onerous periods of time, ignore that. You're just crazy. He, he's gaslighting people, basically. No, 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 our economy is strong as hell. Other countries are the problem. Well, can you name these other countries and how their lack of productivity is in, is affecting U.S. markets? Yeah, there are definitely trade problems, you know, port backups and so forth. Again, because of lockdownerism that Joe Biden himself supported for his first entire year in so-called office. Uh, yeah, self-inflicted pain. That has largely gone by the wayside now, so what gives? Why is the inflation not coming down? In fact, arguably since it's a year-over-year year instead of a month-over-month month metric. Even if the number fell very slightly month-over-month month for September, it's still rising. I hate to tell you this, but inflation ain't even peaked yet. You could end up going past uh, 1982 with regards to inflation numbers. Hell, if you use the old measurement that used to be used, you already have. We're already in a Jimmy Carter era economically. In fact, it's a little bit worse, all things considered. And wages aren't even close to keeping pace with the inflation rate. So uh, Biden's uh, attempt to take credit for rising wages, you're earning more money. Uh, that fell flat too. You'll notice this last 4th of July, they didn't have their cringe post about how Biden had saved you 14 cents. That's because by any metric, he didn't. He couldn't even accomplish that. That's about all. Peace out.